Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I always get asked about my equipment, so today I'm sharing with you my essential coloured pencil tools. Number one on my list is a pencil sharpener, and I actually use a combination of three. A Swordfish Icon, a Derwent Superpoint, and a Faber-Castell Colour Grip. At the moment I tend to favour the Swordfish because it gives a much better point and it's a lot less noisy than the Super Point which is a bonus for me when recording tutorials. And I didn't know whether to put the next thing in a separate category or not because it is actually a sharpening implement so I'm going to add it in here and that is my little sanding block. I use this in addition to my sharpeners to keep a sharper point for longer and it saves a whole lot of sharpening and wasting the pencil. I don't know what I'd do without my embossing tool. This is the perfect thing for leaving fine white areas in your drawing like whiskers or white hairs before you go in and add pencil, especially when needing to add these into the dark areas on your portraits. This is absolutely invaluable and you can pick them up fairly cheaply or you can even make your own or use the edge of a pen. I've got a video on this which I'll link in the description for you guys. A drawing broom is a must, especially if you want to make sure you don't introduce unnecessary bits of dirt or anything like that which could damage your paper. You can buy proper drawing brooms which are pretty fancy but I like to use a soft fluffy brush and I use a Rosemary & Co medium watercolour mop wash brush. You want something nice and soft bristle wise so that it doesn't damage your paper. If you're not sure what this is for, it's basically used to get rid of any pencil dust buildup, small breakages of pencils, that kind of thing. And you use this instead of your hand, which can introduce unnecessary oils and can also smudge your work. Using a brush like this prevents any of those nasty mishaps. The scalpel or craft blade can be used to gain the same effect of the embossing tool, but with this you can get even finer lines and you can also very subtly lift colour from your work that would otherwise be really difficult. At the moment I'm favouring the slice tool with its ceramic blade and this does an amazing job at lifting away colour. I've also used an X-Acto blade and handle which works exactly the same as this slice tool. If there's one thing you absolutely need, that's a white pencil. If you're like me and you like to blend all with coloured pencil, then this is your godsend. I use my white pencil for all of my portraits and this technique of blending and burnishing with the white is one which I absolutely adore. There's a video on exactly how I use it linked below for you. I use a variety of white pencils now, but I've had the most experience with the Caran d'Ache Luminance White and it's a pretty trusty companion to have. Now, if you don't like to blend and use pressure on your paper, you could substitute this essential tool for a solvent blender like Zestit or Gamsol, or even a fancy schmancy pen blender like the Finesse or the Derwent. These produce much different results to using the white pencil blending method and offer a more sort of painterly look, which is fairly appealing. This isn't strictly coloured pencil and some might think that having a black pen as an essential tool is cheating but to me it's no different than adding a watercolour underpainting or using a white pen for highlights or using a craft knife to etch out details. These Faber-Castell pit pens are really great at adding deep opaque dark tones especially in the eyes of portraits. I favour the brush tip pen but having a small array of different shapes and sizes means that you have the perfect pen for any portrait and Faber-Castell actually offer a variety of these pens with different nibs. The last thing on my list of essentials is a kneaded eraser. This is a new addition for me as I've previously favoured the plastic variety of erasers like the Tombow Mono and I never really saw the appeal of the kneaded variety until I happened upon the Faber-Castell kneadable and let me tell you now, you need one of these, like knead it so much. Not only do these things lift graphite in a variety of ways, but they lift coloured pencil amazingly too. And you can shape these into anything you like, so you can mould a teeny little sausage and lift colour to create soft fur, or you can mould a big sausage for more bold dramatic sections of fur. It's amazing. I can't believe it wasn't in my essential list before. So that's my essential coloured pencil toolkit for you. 
If you want to check out any of the items mentioned, I'll leave all the links in the description for you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you're new around here and you want to see more video content like this relating to coloured pencil, then make sure you hit that sub button and join the family. I upload new videos every single Friday for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!